So I have a short bit of time, so I figured I would make a really quick video on one of the items in Muna's Apothecary. I ordered these really cool bottles from this place, uh, from this wholesale uh, bottle company in Sacramento, and I live in San Diego, so I usually get these really quick. And I've been using them for years for their one ounce, one ounce, um, one half ounce glass vials with the corks in them for my oils, and they've been really good. Uh, like they work perfectly, and the per size is great, and everything. And I had a bunch of them left over. But I didn't have the money to buy tons more oils to make oils again for the wall and spindle. Um, so I just kind of kept them on the side for a while until I opened Muna's Apothecary and started using them for that. But um, I'll share those later. <laughs> but the bottle I have now, I ordered it thinking it was a lot smaller. I should have read the dimensions better. I was looking at how much it would hold and, and it wasn't really clicking in my head at that time. So I got a couple of them and I didn't know what to do with them until Muna's Apothecary. So um, one of my really good friends is, is a Discordian, and uh, I might do a video on that later, or maybe uh, record him talking about his religion, because it's really hard for me to explain. I like kind of grasp it, but not really. So, never mind. <laughs> but he uh, he's also a licensed minister, as am I. We both done it, and uh, but he took he went and took um, researched how uh, Catholic priests would bless water, and he went through and blessed some water some distilled water for me. But being a Discordian, he's basically blessing it with chaos in a sense. So one of the things he made for me was chaos water. And uh, it's a cork on the top and I used uh, an epoxy to hold it in there and then I covered it in sealing wax and a little bit of twine right here and onto here. And it put that it's to bring chaos to wherever it is placed, poured, or anointed. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. And you can find this on my Etsy store. Sorry, I have trouble with S's sometimes. Um, username Mina's Apothecary, no space or anything. Um, yeah, and I, I always give a little cool little story for everything I sell because it makes it more fun to list things and to sell things when it has a background story. And Mina pretends to, like my persona, I pretend to be that I've traveled a lot and met all these people. I'm kind of like this gypsy woman uh, who works with magic and whatnot. It has a really interesting background. So um, I forgot who I said this is from on there. I think that I say that I got it from a uh, old haunted ch uh, church, but that could have been my unholy water too, which I have right here. It's the same bottle and everything. It's from an abandoned church, abandoned, cursed, and haunted church. And I found uh, my friend helped me find a church in uh, South Carolina that basically was doomed from the beginning. And I give the story about that. Lots of Confederate soldiers are buried there. Um, I had some issues on the inside. There was a, I know the overseer died and they were kind of like, I wasn't, I'm not exactly sure on the story because it was very brief, but the slaves didn't really do much like to bring attention to it. So I'm not sure if they're trying to say that they were blaming on the slaves or uh, that the slaves were afraid of what happened, but there's a lot of mystery surrounding all the events that were going on in that church. So I kind of took that idea and uh, put it on my bottles with the water. And the water is blessed by Discordian priests or Discordian Pope, they call themselves Pope, so it's Pope Salacious, but I forgot what number he is. So, um, if you actually wanted to use it as a sort of blessing water, you could. It's been blessed by a minister and also Discordian Pope, same person. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I like to make things that are fun, like I'll give a different cursed story behind it, but actually could be used magically. Like I'll sell rose thorns and lodestones and whatnot as well, but I'll give like the dark history of them instead of the good. So that's it. Thank you for watching.